I'm Dame Wendy Hall. I'm a Professor of Computer Science at the University of Southampton. I've had an incredibly varied career. I've been very lucky. You do make your own luck, but I have been lucky to be you know, in the right place at the right time, um, to be able to be able to be able to call a pioneer, to be able to be called a pioneer of multi, you know, is multimedia, hypermedia, um, uh, so involved with the web, and I've met all the people who've made this happen. That's what I, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I, I I just feel so blessed almost. I don't know that I stopped and thought about it. I just knew this was what I wanted to do, and that I was quite capable of doing it. And I think it's it's all about confidence actually. I can see what's going to happen with things. And part of this is bec my abstract thinking. Because I was a pure mathematician, that's the way I think. Um, and I, I don't worry about how, I don't worry about the detail of the implementation. A lot of people get lost in the trees and don't see the wood when they're writing code and worrying about how something's been implemented. Because we get stuck in today's ideas. Sorry, we get stuck in today's world when we have thinking about what's going to happen in the future. And you've got to really, you know, take, forget today's world and think about what this technology is going to make happen in 10 years' time. Um, and I think that's what I'm quite good at. It's so important uh, that we get young women to um, have, the, have good, um, a good grounding in science engineering and then go on to be entrepreneurs. But we need more people in science and engineering anyway. The skills gap is huge. The buzzword everywhere is innovation. It'll be a different buzzword next year. But it's about bright people coming up with great ideas and then knowing or getting help to get those ideas out into the market so they can make a difference. There are an, a, a lot of women running startups, and I think we have to, I mean, that's what you know, that part of the world has got to encourage and see them grow to be the, the chief execs of the big companies. I, I know a lot of people and uh, I can make connections. I can introduce you to the greatest CEOs um, and people who've done it. Um, and I, I, they, everybody wants to help. You know, when you've made it yourself, I, I've not made it as a CEO, but as I have as an academic. But when you see the, the people in the industry, often they want to give back and they really want to help the next generation come through. And in some ways, there's never been a better time to do this.